Well then, welcome back into the future of the River Zoo. I say the future because I've went ahead and played a little bit. I just managed and upgraded a couple of things, maybe gotten a couple of other zookeepers to, to pick up the poo. Although, what I sh probably should have done is picked up the poo manually because you press G, you can drop right in and be a zookeeper yourself. Now, what the hell is that? Is that the poo? I'm pretty sure you can clean this stuff up yourself, although I don't think that that's poo, that's some rock. We've got a bit of fish, here we go. Press space bar to replenish the fish. And we can do all this stuff, which is really cool. First hand, so thank you guys for telling me that. Because I literally did not know. It's, you can walk around your whole zoo like this. It looks really, really cool. So let's get out of here. We've got to press G. We've got a couple of Thompson's gazelles dying. Thompson gazelle was six. Um, we've run into a couple of problems as well. Ooh, that might have been the last Thompson's gazelle. We're still at four and a half stars. It keeps on dropping between four and five stars. Either one and just keeps on changing. Maybe I should just quickly check up on... What should we check up on? No, no, we don't want that. We can also check up on our finances though. Um, I've been making a fair amount of money. I haven't really bought any animals. I just got more zookeepers. So as you can see, $11,400 one month is pretty crazy, really. Uh, but I don't want that. I want to check this number of species. We want to increase that. And I've been unlocking different animals. And of course, I've got this enclosure for tigers. They'll come along later because tigers are going to be a bit of a problem. Ostrich 18 is just hatched. Oh, and also uh, Ibex have completely all... Oh, Gems Box, sorry. Have almost completely all died out. There's just one lonely male. And our flamingos have died out as well. I thought we had so many flamingos. Clearly not enough. They die out really, really quickly, the flamingos. So that's a bit sad. So right now, I've gone ahead and unlocked some more animals or researched the adoption ability. We've got some red kangaroos, which we can get. There's only one that we can get of each sex, which is, I don't know, a bit cheap. <laughs> but I'm not going to be complaining because hopefully that will boost us in the um, animal species stakes. So what I want to do is just quickly check up on the zookeeper recommendations. What fences does he recommend? I think the, oh, maybe the wooden rail fence seems good. So I'll go with that along here. So I'll do something like... Yeah, actually, do you... we're going to move that crap out, don't we? All right. Firstly, I'll move you all the way over here to this side. And now we can build a proper fence. A manly man fence. We'll build over the water and then I'll get rid of the water later on. Uh, where does the water actually come from? It's just like a lake, really. All right. So I'm assuming kangaroos need a, quite a big enclosure. Because that's pretty much what they live in in real life. After all, they are native to Australia. Australia being the great country it is, it's in the middle of nowhere. And for that, we have very unique animals in here as well. Now, hopefully the people will be able to see through these fences. They should. And Greater Flamingo 8 has just hatched. Ah, right. We might have a bit of hope. We might just have a bit of hope. Here's... Let me go six, and he's... Oh, no, 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 no. Uncrate him. Sorry. My bad. Uh, chimpanzee three is given birth. So that's the baby. Uh, this is a male as well. Where, where's the baby? There it is. And that's a female. Beautiful. So hopefully the males don't die out, and they'll be able to breed. That is a big hope. Um, but what we've got to do is also get a fence. I'll put it... No, we won't. Fence, uh, not a fence, but a uh, gate. It looks quite weird, quite like Oriental, or no, maybe like a outback type of, yeah, like an outback type of look. That's what we're going for, after all. This is Australia, and kangaroos like scrub. So we should find that here. Just increase your, increase the brush size. We we'll also get a bit of water for him. Nothing too major though. I don't think the kangaroos really deserve too much water. Well, those are some interesting trees, like... I'm not really sure what you'd call them. Let's find out. A cypress tree. And then they also like a mangrove trees. So I would have called this a mangrove tree. Uh, but what we'd also get is a bit of water. Just up here. Okay, beautiful. It's looking very nice now. Nice and clear. 
Unlike this murky water that the crocodiles and flamingos love. Idiots. Alright, so, so kangaroo one. And kangaroo female two. And what do they like to play with? They like, well, I like to play with carrots. It's an animal enrichment item. Got one of them. And a cheap shelter will never hurt. Okay, fantastic. Let's quickly check out what are their problems. I have a bit of a social need. They definitely do like it to be in packs, kangaroos. Hopefully they won't have a problem sooner or later. Now, the ostriches, they are breeding like crazy. There's so much of them. Ibex 11 is pregnant, but that's not the gems block. These are the Ibex, and they they got a problem with... Okay. So, I don't want to get rid of a female, and this is clearly a female. So, let's get rid of a couple of males. Ibex 10. For you, and I'll get rid of Ibex 12. So, we do have a male problem. This should be a female. It is. And she's pregnant as well. Let's get rid of Ibex 9 as well. Release into the wild, even though there's pretty much no need to do that anymore. How you guys doing? Should be doing okay. You're going to take a pee. That's great to know. But we want to manage it five stars really well. The hell is that? So you keep it doing only God knows. Let's go ground level. And we can press space bar to rake it up. And we can do this ourselves. Fantastic. And we rake these trees now. I guess they're part of the thing. We can groom it. Which I guess counts as cleaning. Let's replenish the water and get out of here. So now that we can do this all manually, I'm thinking about maybe firing a couple of my workers because I've got so many. There's a good view that you can hear. Oh, look at here we go and look at all the workers. Look at all the zookeepers we've got. They're all pretty much either raking poo. Now that we've got so many, there's a couple of them just bludging really. So let's fire a few. I'll fire this staff member. We'll fire probably like two or three. Nothing too major though, because we don't want to run into problems later on. Maybe just the ones that are sitting on the seats. I'm going to fire you as well. Bye bye. Okay. That'll save up. That'll save us a little bit of money. I do want some of those like extra bonus things, like those. Where are we? We go over here. These goals. That's what they call them. So if you hit number of, of animals, max, number of species, max, we just need more educational habitats and more entertaining animals. Well, that, that's going up drastically. We just need more educational habitats. So that can easily be fixed, especially right now. We've also got some jaguars, which we're going to be getting. Very nice. And some snow leopards. Snow leopards like the alpine region, but the alpine region was here until the hippos moved in. We've still got a bit of a problem with money. Like, there's no real way that you can make money quick apart from donation boxes. What's that? So that is grasslands, and you like grasslands, don't you? It seems like it. So I'll move this massive rock over there. Hopefully it'll make the hippos happier. That looks like, like a perfect place. Do you guys have a lot of poop here? Or are they just babies? They're just babies, and you're making love, so... I guess penguins are like being in massive groups too. They have quite a big social need. Okay, so. Damn, ostriches are still breeding. But right now, what I'm going to do is quickly check up. What do we need for a jaguar? That's what I think I got mixed up with the uh, cheetah and the jaguar. I think because when I was playing a bit by myself, they. Well, I unlocked the jaguar. And that's why I got the. Tropical rainforest biome. Uh, but right now, go over here, roads, increase this section of roads. Try to make it at least look presentable. Alright, that should be good enough. It should be. And then we'll get an edu or we'll get a donation box. You need one of them, of course. And then we'll get an educator's podium, which 
It's always hard to find. It's always in a weird place. It is over here. So yeah, I'd love it if educator podiums were in the same slot as donation boxes in well, scenery items and then we've got buildings. We'll need a new educator. Thankfully, they don't cost much at all. That's no real worry. And I think it's a she. So she has already gone up and started talking about the animals. Very nice indeed. Got a crocodile being pregnant again. Are these animals... Oh, no. I'm surprised his social need hasn't gone up. He's definitely an old bastard. Living alone. Probably not the best of lives. Ooh. How are you guys? Well, I guess we did get rid of a fair few animals. What are you? You're a female. Very good. The zookeeper can't reach the bird poop. It's easily changed. Oh no, we spawned outside, didn't we? That means I've got to walk in. Let's just zoom in here. And get out of the way of that. There we go. Here yeah, we're going to be able to clean up poo. Working as a team together. Good job. Those are just some weird rocks. Hello? Oh, you just pooped just then, didn't you? That's nice. Ostrich looks like it's dead, although I don't think it is. It's moving about. Slightly. Ooh, egg. What can we do with the egg? We can replenish hay. We'll do that. Okay, so I got a boatload of hay now, again, and I'm pretty sure that's it for now over here. It doesn't seem like there's some massive heaping pile of shit. Bit of hay there. It's almost the end of the month because the sun has changed. It's gone down. It always happens when that happens. Oh, another egg here. All right, so let's get out of here. Good stuff. And we'll pretty much be back down to zero dollars now. Well, because we fired a couple of workers, it should be like... We should still be in the green. Hopefully. At least. Now, we don't have anyone speaking over here in this... On the Ibex. Do we? Ooh, you're just about to plop a baby. How are the PFALs doing? They're de definitely... Well, drastically reduced in number... Oh, well, we've got both male and female. Okay, there's two of them that are together, and then they've just begun making love. And here's another baby, so it's not like we've got a problem with them. I've got... Oh, we're making a nice amount of money. Hmm. What I'll do is... Oh, another thing that I did I should mention is that I made admission free. Because we're really not making anything from the admission price. Admission income, $18,000 over the time that we've played, so... I'd rather it free and have a lot more people being able to donate, really. That was my logic behind it. It's just become January in the third year. We've already had a lot of animals die as well. Ibex 13 is given birth. Jeez, they love giving birth, don't they? What I'll do is I'll move this here or something like that. Or maybe not. I'll move this... Okay. And I'll also get an educator's platform. It should be good enough, as well as a donation box. Why is not that not good? It's no good. Ah, the animal's there. Okay. That's what the problem is. So I'll um, just move this there. People should be able to move in and out. An educator in here as well. And now we should be talking about the Ibex. A bit more educational platforms for us to speak from. I can also get a restaurant. Restaurants don't really cost all too much, but from what I've seen, like all these buildings, like the sushi food stand, they don't really create all that much money, even in high traffic areas. Like, have a look. The water, yeah. The belly makes his lifetime profit $869. It's mainly donation boxes. Like, this is, I guess everything does add up. But 
Whoa, what's that guy? Why is he so much browner than the rest? Definitely some weird species. Oh no, the crocodile. What's this? The little baby. Greater Flamingo 8. It's very white. He's an albino or something. Maybe that's just what the babies look like. Thankfully there's a female though. Hopefully she'll outlast these males and be able to breed with them. There's a big goal. And check out our, our, our budgetary standing. Last month, some staff salaries, $9,300. Um, animal adoption, okay, and animal upkeep, construction. We constructed a lot as well last month. So it wouldn't be all too bad. If only I could do something with this gems block, he's going to just die a slow and painful death. He can't reach his... Ostrich 18, where is it? That's where it is. Oh, it's stuck. Okay, that's not good. I like that. No wonder you're angry. As long as you don't influence the other areas or the animals around your area. That's okay. We've got an educator taking a break. You're not stuck, are you? No. I'd love to entice some more people up here. Let's see what animals we can get. A jaguar don't really cost all too much though, do they? Or a tiger. See, tigers I think are a lot more exciting, so they'd bring in more people. But I don't think I can really afford that though, so maybe let's get a jaguar or two. We'll be able to get it at the end of the month, so I think that's what I'll get. Ooh, ostrich 18 has been healed. Was it injured? It must have been. Um, I'll also get a large wooden shelter. Where should I place it? Facing this way. Alright, no, I'll face it this way. There we go. Away from the people. So we'll have even that extra bit of privacy. We've got a broom included in it. I think a bit of a water bowl. Ostrich 18 is thirsty now. Well, that'll change. How are the animals doing with all this space? Yeah, they're definitely having a bit of problems. There aren't many giraffes. I think it's just, yeah, these ostriches that are causing all these problems for us. So let's get a rid of a couple of males. A little few. Female. You're about to give birth. Oh, well, I'll get rid of you. You're a female as well. I don't want to get rid of too many females. You're a male. You're a male as well. And how are the camels doing? Whoa! The camels last for a long amount of time. This is still the first one. And aren't camels the first animals that we put over in this enclosure? I'm pretty sure they are. They definitely do last quite a long time. So this guy is a male. Male. Female, female, male, male, female. All right, let's get rid of this male. Maybe a bit of an older one. Let's get rid of the first one. Wherever he might be, there he is. See, champ, up for adoption. We won't be needing you. How much money is this bringing in? It really doesn't bring any money in there, does it? It just attracts people into it and probably infects them with spider venom i do love how you can see the different animals let's go first person mode there we go hello that's funny all right can we donate ourselves if only we could rig the system oh we got a pregnant well it was pregnant not anymore what is this? A female. Very nice. And Greater Flamingo 6 has died of old age. That would mean Flamingo 7 will die pretty soon. If not already, it seems like it has. So there go the Flamingos. So sad. 
Oh no, there it is. You better be able to breed. Maybe I can get rid of a couple of animals. There we go. We don't want chimps. We've got our own. All the other animals I still don't have, so I don't want to get rid of them. Ah, there we go. Five stars, finally. What's improved? Nothing really has improved, though, has it? Same. I guess maybe educational habitats has just upped it a bit. Uh, we'll also want someone to teach up here. Now, Crocodile 2 is laid an egg. And Red Kangaroo 1 is pregnant. Very nice. So they'll be able to have a little bit of a herd. So, priority right now is just wait it out. Hopefully, yeah, the end of the month won't come by very soon. It's only halfway through January. Uh, but we'll be able to get some lep or jagu jaguars, sorry, very soon. So the most expensive animals cost 20000 I don't think I've, well, there's nothing that's $25,000, so. As long as we can keep it at five stars, I think the Jaguar will keep it up there. We should be good. Now, I'm pretty sure that this might even be the, well, we'll call it the penultimate episode. In the meantime, I've got Dead, oh, Dead Space 3. Almost said Dead or Alive. It's not really a good game, but <laughs> Dead Space 3. I haven't played it yet. I will soon. I'll probably be posting some gameplay footage of that, maybe the full walkthrough. I think I I can only upload it after January, no, February 5, so there's still a lot of time until I can do that. So hopefully I'll be able to finish the whole game by that time. Let's get rid of a couple of cheaters because there's a couple of them that are angry, or a fair few of them. Get rid of a male. Anything else up here? No. I'm surprised they were so angry, well, so eager to get more space. What are you? You're a male? Female. Female. Female that's pregnant. Female as well. Female. Whoa. So how many males is there? I think there's only like one. That's a bit of a precarious position. There's another one. Okay, so the babies are males. That's it. So let's get rid of a couple of females then. Cheetah 20, Cheetah 19. 15 is pregnant, so I won't get rid of her. I'll get rid of you. Okay. And now we've got more than enough money to get those Jaguars, so... One... Two... I don't want Zebras, nor do I want Chimpanzees. Wait, we just... Re rejected the adoption. Or chimps, and now aren't we getting more chimps? Ah, uh, Zoo Tycoon logic. Alright, so we do have a fence up here. There it is. It seems like our zookeepers will be able to get through, which is, of course, what we're aiming for. So let's just get a, another donation box. Red Kangaroo 1 has given birth. That was pretty quick. Get a lecture stand. Wait until one of the people move out. I'll have to move them manually, won't I? Bye bye. And of course, we've got our trusty lecturer. Jaguars don't seem to have a problem, which is great. Check out this. All right. Animal happiness should be improved. We just need more entertaining animals, although that's definitely increased as well. I guess it's more educational habitats when it wasn't that higher. I don't know with this game. We want to keep it at five stars though. For a good amount of time at least. Now, Chimp 3 is really hungry. Let's see if I can replenish some food. There we go. There you go. There's your banana stack. There's a little baby chimp. Chimpanzee 5. Wow. Started off from soon. Now there's 5 of them. You have to like pump up these balls or something or play with them. No. 
You can even walk through them though, can't you? Yep. There's now the food that I can really replenish myself. So, back out. Ostrich 23 has just hatched. And they live forever and ever, don't they? They just don't give up. Ooh, it seems like one of our giraffes died. How are the zebras doing? I haven't seen them in a while. Zebra 7, male. That's a female. There we go, she's breeding. There's another one. Female as well. Hopefully it's a male that's going to be plopping out. Are the rest of them for space? It's not too bad. It could be worse. Alright. That's okay. Kangaroos just lazing about. Frolicking in the dirt. As kangaroos do. Supposedly you're being educated, but the educational stands over here. It seems like someone's stuck almost. So we made $75. Almost recovered the costs. Well, we will soon. Penguins keep on breeding. Let's see what other animals we can get. I don't want chimps. I don't want crocodiles either. Moose. Yeah, I think we've gone around pretty much full circle and we've unlocked all the really cool animals that are there to get. Now it's just uh, Bengal tigers. Snow leopards, rhinos, and African elephants. Cheetah 15's given birth, All right, and you're going to all start complaining. All right, we're going to make sure what sexes they are. We want to sell, well, we want to get rid of females. So. It's amazing how much space the cheetahs need, though. Pretty annoying. Oh, there we go. You've both matured. Although, are you going to breed? Not at the moment. Hopefully sooner than rather than later. They will. Is that poop? No, it's just a bit of dirt. Okay, it's really helped me out that I can pick up poop by myself. Although it doesn't seem like my animals are pooping all too much. It's not really a big problem anywhere. The penguins just breed like crazy. <laughs> like rats almost. Or mice. Hey fowls all laid an egg. Our hippos are becoming mature. Thankful they're not dying. Check up our financial situation before we have to end the episode. So we're making a, well, monthly profit. We're sort of making profits on most months. At least January and December were pretty bad. So we were going for new animals. Well, we've got two new animals this episode, didn't we? Kangaroos and cheetahs. Or jaguars. Monthly fame rating. So it's been level at four and a half stars. Pretty much this whole time. Goes down to four stars randomly sometimes. You just want to keep it at five stars though. Monthly donations. We've reached a all time high last month. We check $15,517. Okay. And the animal adoption. Staff salaries is quite high. Not, not too bad at all. If any more people were coming down this way, maybe I'll have to like sell this. If I can click it and just move this tree here for the time being, and I'll increase this concreted area, a stoned off area. And of course I can't because I don't have any money. So <laughs> what we'll do is we'll be back next episode once we have a bit more money. And hopefully you guys will be back. That's, it will be the last episode. So this will be the penultimate one. 
more or less plays to come. Hopefully you have games that you will enjoy and you'll want to see of me play. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.